Now today's video on the channel is going to be a little bit different to what you guys are used to. I'm going to try and explain how I've lost weight. Seems like a really random video, but it's been highly requested on my Instagram. And in order to kind of explain how I lost this weight, I have to explain it how I've lost it two times before. Now bear with me, it might be a little bit all over the place, but I'm gonna start from when I lost weight the first time, just before my 18th birthday back in 2013. Hell yeah. I'll try and make those snappy in order to uh, explain this time, but they're all very similar. They all link together. But if you guys wanna see more like lifestyle shit like this, so cringy, I know, be sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for content that is literally so random. I don't even know what I'm recording myself. Now you guys are about to see some photos that I'm actually really, really embarrassed by and not that proud of. But in order to explain how I've lost the weight, I needed to show you how chubs Tanner was. If you go back through my Instagram, you can see the journey of like bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, blue hair, brown hair, pink hair, all over the place. But angles and lighting and makeup kind of hid how much weight I really had gained. So please just, just Bear, just bear with me a little bit, just bear with me. So starting off with the first time that I lost weight was when I was about 17 and I'd just gotten out of a relationship. So, you know, I was I was comfortable. I was eating crap. I was going out for dinners. Everyone goes through it. They, go, they get in a relationship, they gain weight. It's, it's quite a common thing, okay? So when I was about to turn 18, I spent that whole year pretty much trying to lose weight, you know, be my best self. I was feeling very mentally drained, very mentally down because of the relationship. So eating well and exercising kind of was my outlet and the reward was looking down damn good for my birthday. So the way I did this the first time was an app called Weight Watchers. Now I didn't do the meetings or the meals that they prepare or whatever. I kind of just use their app, which they give you a point system for each day. And you pick that point system for what you want to eat. And you know, it's pretty much calorie counting of sorts. And for exercise, all I did was cardio still to this day. Pretty much all I do is cardio. High intensity training, run for a minute, walk for a minute. Run for a minute, walk for a minute. Run for, yeah, you, you get the point, you get the point. Anyways, so I use Weight Watchers. So it gives you the points per day and then it gives you a weekly allowance for like little bits of extra, you know, snacks or drinks or whatever to kind of treat yourself. So that time I lost seven kilograms, it was wonderful. Here is me uh, on my 18th birthday. So yeah, as you can see, I had quite a tiny waist. I was quite small. Oh my God, look at my hair. That was my natural hair, guys, my God. I just want to state the fact that this was uh, five years ago. <laughs> I am getting so old, my God. So it's safe to say collectively over the course of the last five years, I have collectively lost about 30 kilograms, which is damn insane. And then moving on to the second time, which is the kind of, I would say the main time that I've lost weight. I don't know why I'm doing that, but like guys, you is about to see a chubby tenner. Now, after I turned 18, I went out a lot. I drank a lot. I got a job at a nightclub. So pretty much all I did was drink, eat food, didn't exercise as much as I should have, just drank a lot of wine, ate a lot of kebabs. Look at that, look at that. Look at all that wine. And I kind of thought after I lost the seven kilos that I was like, oh, I'm invincible. I'm not gonna gain weight again. It's like, oh, sweetie, when you're drinking record league cider that are half sugar, half alcohol, you're gonna gain weight. That's something you gotta learn is like, yes, you may have lost the weight, but in order to maintain it, you still have to watch what you eat. Yeah, I, I learned that the hard way, didn't I? But yeah, as the years went on, I ate more, I gained more. I still went to the gym. My weight probably fluctuated. It wasn't like, oh my God, she's huge. It was kind of like, oh, you know, she's got a little bit of extra beef, but no worries. Dyed my hair blue. Look, see, I don't look necessarily chubby. Like I, I don't think I was overweight to a sense of like, oh my God. And then, and then I went to Europe. I went to Europe for three months and boy, oh boy, did your girl gain some weight in Europe? Because I always went to the gym, so that did help. Don't get me wrong, it does help. But then I went to Europe for three months and all I did was party and eat carbs. So you're about to see Tenna in her truest form. See what I mean about me being embarrassed about showing them? Do you guys actually know that I looked like this? Now for the OG people who kind of watched Lennon from the beginning, they would have seen me in earlier videos with brown hair. I just want to state the fact that I had blue hair and it looked good, but then I gained weight and blue hair and a fat tenner. Not a good mix. Just want to start by saying not a good mix. This was at the end of the three months in Europe. So you're going to have to cut me some slack. And then, this, yeah, this is me at the end of the Europe trip. So uh, do you even recognize me? <laughs> My God, she's beautiful. Damn, she's thick. That was, that was Tenna was thick with 17 Cs. And that's what I mean, like I'm okay with the way that I looked. It's, it's fine. It's all part of my journey as a person. So don't think that if you're a similar size that there is anything wrong with that. This is me and my journey and how I felt about it. So just it's in comparison to me now and how I'm at like a size six to eight, depending. And then I was a, I was pushing a 14, man. I was 12 to 14 then. So it's, it's just insane. The contrast of like big bone tenor to tenor now, if that makes sense. So ate a lot. I drank a lot. I don't regret my time in Europe. It was fun, but 
I was 75 kilos there. It was not healthy for who I was. And it was not good for my mental health either to party for three months and then look like that. I was just like, oh my God, I hate myself. But this was, I think when I went to Europe, Lennon had just started his channel. So this was OG days, like OG. As I said, they're all on my Instagram. I've never hid the weight gain. It's always just kind of been hidden with ankles and makeup and filters and whatnot. So just never believe Instagram, trust me. Damn, she's thick, she's so thick. Oh my God, look at me there. My God, she's huge. So pretty much I came home from Europe. I was about 75 kilos. I was not happy with myself. I wanted to lose weight, but I didn't start to lose the weight for probably nine months after I got back from Europe. But look at this picture. Look at how round my face is. Look at this one. Oof, am I even recognizable? And here is a photo when my niece Olivia was born. God damn, she's thick. I'm just like looking at it, I'm like, oh my God. At least it'll be clickbaitable for the thumbnail, that's for sure. But pretty much I was extremely unhappy with the way that I was health-wise, look-wise, mental-wise, all of that kind of stuff. And I said to myself, I was like, it's time for me to lose some weight, no excuses, time to get done. Now this was the time that I lost 17 kilos. This was over a course of about 18 months using the same app that I used when I was 18, Weight Watchers, calorie counting, exercise, cardio. Now this was my before and after of roughly about a year. That is pretty mental. And so many people used to ask me, they're like, what did you do? How did you do it? What's like, what's the easy quick way to lose weight? And I was like eating well and exercising. And they would get so pissed off to find out that the solution is eating well and exercising. I would eat boring meals with Weight Watchers. I would cook up meals, meat and veggies, meat and veggies, meat and salad, meat and salad. And then I would cut out soft drink completely. I would try and cut back on alcohol consumption and I would do a lot of cardio, running for a minute, walking for a minute, running for a minute, walking for a minute. And in recommendation of like how to keep track of this, keep track of your weight, like write down your scales, take pictures every week, every fortnight and look at the journey of your weight loss through that because you might be losing weight on the scales or you're not, but your body's changing if you're taking care of yourself. And something that I learned from the beginning, probably the second time, not the first time that I lost weight was that if you stick to it for about two or three weeks, it becomes habit, especially with calorie counting. So I have lost weight this time and I kind of did. And now I'm in a situation where I look at food and I'm like, should I be eating that? Is that what calorie count is that? And I can kind of calculate what I'm eating in a day, doing it correctly that way, if that makes sense. I don't know. As I said, guys, this video is all over the place and I'm probably dribbling shit but I needed to show you guys this journey because it's pretty insane when you think about it. But yeah, look at my ass. Oh my God. I don't have one of those anymore, I can promise you that. My weight was kind of, I lived. I drank a lot, I traveled a lot, I ate a lot. I don't regret it, it's all part of it. I just had to learn very quickly that if I don't watch what I eat, I will be chubby. And then you get into the point in my life where I started posting bikini pictures, a lot of them. You could tell I was comfortable in my body when I started doing that. But yeah, this is my 21st birthday. So I was like, for my 21st birthday, I'm gonna be skinny as hell. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, she did it. She did it! Trust me, if you can put your mind to it, you can do it. Don't make any excuses. Force the habit. I've done it three times now, literally. And every time it gets easier and easier. The 17 kilo one was like, God damn, how did I do it? But this time I was like, no, nope, I'm going to eat well. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to count my calories. And it fell off me, literally fell off me. I got in the habit after two or three weeks and the rest was goddamn history. Here we are. The double chin isn't as bad as what it usually is. Look at that. That's me guys, and that's also me. So yeah, I turned 21, I was small, I was very, very tiny. Then I gained a little bit back throughout the year. And then my 22nd birthday was probably, probably the smallest I've ever been, I'd say. Like that that was that was like peak tenor. I lost my ass, was just like very, very small. Like look how small I was. I'm shocked. I'm literally shocked. Moving on to this time. Now, this is what I was talking about when I used Weight Watchers. Now, coming into this time that I lost weight, I did not use this whatsoever. So I would not recommend going and buying it. I would recommend getting the app called My Fitness Pal. Now, if you haven't heard about it, it's not sponsored by the way. Yeah, now if you haven't heard about this app, pretty much it's similar to the Weight Watchers one, except it's more in counting calories or kilojoules, whatever your choice may be. I have it set to calories and I think it's on about 1300 a day, maybe 1400. You pretty much put everything you eat, the amount of water that you drink, and the amount of exercise that you do. It has almost everything in there that you need because it's everyone adds bits and pieces. And as I said about the habit thing, if you do this for two to three weeks by putting every single food that you eat, every bit of water that you drink, and every exercise that you do into my fitness pal, you will get into the routine. You can then also put photos before and after, and each week you can put in progress, all that kind of stuff. You can count macros and stuff, but I keep it pretty chill. But when it comes to counting calories exactly, don't be too stressed about it. Like I 
might type in a chicken sandwich and it might not be the exact calories of the chicken sandwich that I'm eating, but I mean, it keeps it in like a rough estimate. So don't stress too much about it. As long as you're putting it in, counting your calories and watching what you're eating and it's all in front of you, you start to question what you eat and like what you're consuming, if that makes sense. So if you have a chocolate, you're like, damn, this is a hundred calories. Should I be eating this? That's what you gotta do. You gotta question yourself, you know? The third time, this is the time I'm talking about now. I have lost, I think about six kilos so far. I have used my fitness pal and I've done the same thing with cardio. Run for a minute, walk for a minute, walk on an incline. Kept it pretty simple. Now, as I said, I'm gonna start doing classes to try and get like some toned arms and some toned legs. But for now, I've just done cardio. I am so basic and I apologize to anyone who was going to yell at me for just doing cardio. But yeah, pretty much I just use my fitness pal to write everything down. Now, when it comes to like people who have busy lifestyles, when I was younger, I didn't really do much else other than working on the weekend. So I was able to cook healthy meals all the time, like meat and veggies, the boring meals that I was talking about. Now this time, because I've been doing YouTube and streaming, it's been very full on and I haven't been able to cook meals like I used to. So for this time, I started ordering foods from U Foods. Now this is a service where they give you like fresh meals. Some of them can be frozen, some can't. And you pretty much just like have them for lunch and dinner. So for people who have busy lifestyles, I really recommend this. Now regarding to why I gained weight this time between the time that I lost the 17 kilos, it was a much slower process and I've only gained probably like five kilos difference. So the first time I lost weight was, I went from 67 to 60. The second time was 75 to 58. And this time so far, it has been 65 to 59. Pretty insane when you think about it collectively being 30 kilograms, insane. So pretty much the last year, I kind of just wanted to focus on figuring out my life. I just lost my job. I was starting to YouTube. I was starting to play Fortnite. Uh, <laughs> and the people I played Fortnite with, we went to a lot of burger of the weeks at the local club. So I gained a lot of weight that way. And then when I moved to Sydney, it was getting in the routine of becoming a full-time YouTuber as well as a new gym, you know, moving out of home for the first time, having the excitement of having Uber Eats and going out for nice dinners because I was in the city and going out for drinks because I knew people in the city and all that kind of stuff. So I began to gain some weight very quickly. But as I said, it was only five kilos, I'd say give or take between the last 12 to 18 months. Nothing too stressful. I wasn't actually that, you know, upset about it. I just wasn't in a place that I wanted to be. So got some before and afters of the weight loss this time. So this is me in October last year, 2018. Uh, and this was me probably like a couple weeks ago. So I've lost about six kilograms, same sort of thing, eating well, exercising. Sorry, it's boring. Yeah, my fitness pal and you foods has been the most helpful thing ever. My cardio has kind of stayed the same. And something that I've forgotten to mention, I know that this video is all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best to explain how I've lost the weight. Drink water. I drink about two kilograms a day, I would say. I drink a lot of water. You gotta learn to love water. Don't drink soft drink, don't drink anything else. Water, water, water water. It is so good for your body. It heals you, it helps you, and it's so healthy for you. So just drink water. Get one of those big water bottles and make sure you drink at least a bottle a day. I have a big one from like Rebel Sports. Um, you guys might have seen it when I was in my apartment, always in my recordings. This photo here was when I first moved to Sydney, I think. I was a little bit chunky. As I said, not big at all. Like it's not like I was too stressed about that, but I had a little bit of, a little bit of extra thickness, which is fine. It's totally cool. I was totally sweet with it. I wasn't even bothered by it. I don't so as you can see, this was me at a, in December at an engagement party. As I said, not big, just like a little bit of extra beef around the tummy and you know, about around the face, not not ideal, but I wanted to to cut the uh, the extra kgs and eating well, exercising, U Foods has done that. And once it starts, trust me, it, it won't stop. If you can get into that habit of eating well, it will fall off you, I have no doubt in my mind. So yeah, as I said, I recommend taking photos each week to kind of represent how much weight you've lost. This was my most recent one, like, and these ones. You can see how photos and keeping track of all of it is like super important to like making sure that you're seeing the progress, not just on the scales, but like in physical form. I mean, obviously, you can see it, but it's good to keep track because when I lost weight this time, what I did was from the time that I lost the 17 kilos, I went through and screenshotted the difference of like when I was bigger to when I was smaller and when I was at my tiniest. And that was kind of my motivation because I was like, I know I can do it. I've done it several times now and now I've done it again. So if I ever gain the weight back, at least I know that I'm very capable of losing it again. Yeah. So this was me like a couple months ago. I was like, mm, not big, but you know, still was putting up bikini pictures, a little bit thick a little bit extra, and now I'm just like back to where I was before. Much smaller, much, much smaller. Much happier as well, mentally. Like it's good for YouTube to eat well and exercise and take care of yourself because it has an effect on your mental health. Like you can't tell me otherwise. I'll fight you. Try and tell me otherwise.
I'll backhand ya. So yeah, it's pretty insane to me that that is my entire journey. As I said, that video was all over the place. I just kind of wanted to explain how I lost it on the several occasions and how you could do it too if you were keen to. As I said, 30 kilos collectively over three different attempts. One of those attempts was 17 kilograms just in one hit. Okay, all I can say is calorie counting and exercising it doesn't have to be too over the top. Everyone has their own ways. This was just my way. Calorie counting, exercising, two, three liters of water a day, 80% exercise, 20% gym, just cutting out soft drink and alcohol if possible, boring meals, nothing over the top and creating that habit over two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? So my fitness pal, you foods. I don't really know how else to summarize this video. I hope this kind of can give some people some insight. As I said, I have no idea professionally how to lose weight or what is the the appropriate way. This is just my way. Um, and I've done it three times now and it's worked every time. So, you know, if the method ain't broke, don't fix it. At this point, I'm just adding to it. Like I've lost the weight now. Now I'm just going to add some, maybe some F45 classes to like, you know, tone up a little extra muscle, like add some oof, oof. So yeah, I have no idea what this video was and I apologize that it was all over the place, but I hope you guys could have learned something from it. As I said, if you guys want more lifestyle stuff like this, um, let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As I said, my content's always scuffed and so was this. Yeet.